Hey guys, uh, my name is Patrick Style, and I wanted to show you a demo of Podio. <clears throat> Podio is a piece of software that we've been using here uh, in our company for several years now. And we, we basically run 95% of our business, and we actually have like three or four different businesses that we run under Podio. And it really helps us organize and keep track and collaborate. I mean, all of our, our whole company is remote and um you know, we're able to use Podio to run our whole business to keep everybody, uh, you know, on the same page with all of our projects and our sales processes and hiring people. And we, we basically do everything within Podio. It really is fantastic. And it's really a fantastic tool for any small business, whether you're a solopreneur or, you know, a five person shop or 25 person shop, et cetera. Really a lot of uh, great uh, features in Podio that are going to you know, kind of give you a intranet out of, uh, you know, intranet in a box kind of functionality. So I want to show you some of the really, really cool features of Podio. So let me just start with uh, a couple things. So when you create a new account in Podio, you'll be, uh, you'll be creating a new organization is the first thing that you do. It'll ask you for your company's name and that creates an organization. Um, and then within that organization, um, you have workspaces. And so each workspace, so um, by default, Podio will create a, a demo workspace for you in the organization. You can see other organizations that I've created here. Some of them um, are other nonprofits. Some of them are companies. Some of them are people that I'm collaborating with in, in other companies and things like that. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. And then I have my main one up here that has lots of different workspaces. So you can see we're running, doing a lot of different things in here. Here's one of my other businesses and some different things. So anyways... Um, this demo workspace is, uh, let's see, is what we're looking at right here. And um, within the, and so basically a workspace is a, basically a security group. Um, any of the people that you want to have working on a particular set of data and collaborating and doing workflow together, you would uh, create a, a workspace for them. So you can think of this as departments. So you might want to create a marketing workspace and a sales workspace and maybe an operations workspace, et cetera, um, because there's, you know, all the marketing people need to have access to the same stuff, basically. Right. Um, but then you can also create workspaces to define any kind of ad hoc set of people that all need access to the same data. So it doesn't have to be on department lines. It can be in any, you know, any, any uh, organization that you want. You could have some ad hoc project, you know, uh, uh, company picnic that you're trying to organize and you could create a workspace specifically for organizing and collaborating and planning the, the company picnic. Okay. So that's kind of how, a, how a workspace works. And then within the workspace, you can, you will create what Podio calls apps. I call them databases, but they're, but these are basically the apps. And so each app has a certain amount of, uh, has data fields in it where you can store your data. And then you can have linkages between the different apps. So a lot of cool functionality here. So we'll just take a quick look through uh, some of these apps. So this is the leads and clients app. Um, now these are not, uh, these are just, these are just demo apps, right? So you can come in here and modify anything that you want about these apps. None of these fields have to be here. You can take all of them out. You can replace them with your own. You can create your own apps and just define the exact fields that you want. So that's one of the hugely powerful features of Podio. Um, but I'll show you more on that later. It's really, really powerful the way it works. So here we have leads and clients. We have projects. So we have a place to keep track of all the different projects that we're doing. Maybe these are uh, company projects or internal projects, whatever they, whatever you want to organize uh, in this projects database. That's what you could do. And then we have one called inspiration. So this could be like storing designs or just when you see something that uh, just looks really cool, grabs your attention, and you can configure this so you can actually see images that are embedded inside of the app. So that's really cool. Then there's the idea of a meetings app, and a meetings app is uh, allows you to uh, host a uh, go-to meeting uh, directly from Podio, so you can create a new meeting, invite people to that meeting, and then host the whole meeting with uh, uh, go-to meeting, the free version. Uh, and so that's how that works. And then expenses, just another app in here where you want people to record any kind of expenses that they need to be re reimbursed for and that kind of thing. And so you can see categories and different things. Again, everything in here is flexible and customizable. Okay. 
Now, I want to show you just how flexible and customizable this is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into projects. <clears throat> And let's say that um, I just had a phone with someone, a phone call with someone, um, or actually even better. Let's let's say that we just got back from a trade show, um, and and then you know we called somebody and they said, "Hey, I'm really interested in you guys quoting me on a project." And so we get off the phone with them, and we say, "Okay, well let's go ahead and add this project in." Okay, so let's create a new project. So we're gonna go over here and click on Add Project. Okay. And we're going to call this Project X. And the project owner is going to be me. You can see here, this is a list of all the members of this workspace. So anyone that you would add to this workspace would show up here. And then you can also have workspace contacts, which we'll talk about later. Or That's a, that's a topic for another video. Um, I'll record some progress in here. And, um, and I'll go ahead and add in, you know, a team member here. I'll just add in uh, Tyra here. And... Um, but now I'm realizing, I'm sitting here looking at my app and I'm realizing, you know what, I don't have, I really would like this to refer to a client or a lead. I need to, in other words, I need to store the contact information for this person that I'm, that I'm dealing with. And I'm looking through the app and I don't see any fields for that, okay? So what I really need is I need to add a new client in the client lead um, app, okay? so. I'm going to say, okay, well, let me go and modify the template. I'm going to modify the fields that are in here. And what I'm going to do is add a new relationship field. And I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to choose. So this wants, it wants us to choose an app to reference. So we're going to choose that leads and clients app. And I'm going to click done. And I'm just going to rename this to client slash lead. Okay. And I'm going to click done. So now I have gone ahead and I've added in a new field into my database, which is great. I'm going to point something out about that in just a minute. Now I can go in and I can say, okay, well, um, the name of this company is the DEF company because uh, I already have the ABC company, right? So I'm going to add in the DEF company, but I realize I don't have, uh, this is a new lead, so I don't have them in our database. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create new item here. By clicking on create new item, it's going to take me directly into the leads and clients app so I can add that uh, client in. So this is the DEF company. This time I won't mistype it. Um, and I can put in um, John Doe as my contact details and I could assign a sales agent to it. I could say this is uh, came from the Chicago trade show, etc. cetera. Um, or maybe actually it wasn't the Chicago trade show it was the St. Louis trade show, but I hadn't even, hadn't even, hadn't even entered that in yet into our um, lead database. So I'm gonna modify template here and I'm gonna type in St. Louis, press enter. And now we've got a new status in there, okay? So that was very cool. And then let's say here I decide, you know what? I actually am missing a field here as well. Um, I want to record a follow-up date, let's say. So I'm gonna modify template again. Now, when I was in here a second ago, I could have added this in at the same time, but I didn't think of it. So I'm gonna add in a date here and call it follow-up date. I'm just gonna name it FUP date. And on any of these fields, I, can, I have more options about the fields. Uh, so a lot of different things that I can do and I can do some calendar integration with a date field and things like that. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, press, uh, click done, and I'm gonna add in a follow-up date, which will be April 1st, okay? And now I have a date in there, okay? So now I've got DEF company, I've got enough information in here, this contact here, I could edit it and go ahead and put in their phone number and email address. Uh, okay, I might have to save this record first. Anyways, so let's go ahead and save and return. So now we have added in a new DEF company. It's related to this guy here. I could actually go ahead and uh, hold down my, uh, hold down a key and open this up in a new tab. And I can see the DEF company is right there. So this, is, this has already been saved to the database. But one thing that's really important to note here is I have not even saved this project to the database, okay? So while I'm adding in data, I was able to go into the client lead app. I was able to go in and say, I want to create a new item. 
I was able to go into this database here and modify the database design to add in a new status and add in a new field. Okay. And then save and return that data and come back and I have uh, everything in here and I haven't even saved my project yet. Okay. <laughs> this is like impossible. Like this is the only system that I've ever seen that can do this. And, and Podio actually just added this functionality within the last, I don't know, six or eight months sometime in 2014. And so um, this is super powerful. This is something that I've never seen before. And I've been uh, working on database, uh, you know, database based applications for the better part of 20 years now. I've been a developer for 30 something years now, 34 years, and I've never seen anything like this. This is hugely, hugely powerful. This allows a business owner to not only customize these apps the way that they want them to, but just really dynamically take on any type of change to your business process um, or something you had not thought of before and just add it into your workflow, add it into your data that you're collaborating on and just, you know, keep moving forward. And you don't have to call a developer. Um, you don't have to uh, go through some big design process and documentation, and all this kind of stuff. Just go in there and add it in. It's just that easy, you know. So really, really powerful stuff. So now we have a project here created and um, we can go right along. I'm gonna refresh the page and our project should show up here. So there's project X, okay? Um, so that that's that's the main thing that I wanted to show you uh, about Podio. Um, I do wanna show you one other thing because we have, so you know this is all cloud-based, right? I can go to any browser anywhere, log into Podio and I can get to my data. So that's a huge thing. Um, so even if I'm on, you know, someone else's computer, if I get a brand new computer, I don't have to go configure a bunch of stuff from my intranet. I just log into Podio and here's everything that I, that I have, that I need access to. And then collaboration. Collaboration is really um, important in a company. And so if I want to collaborate with Tyra on this, you know, I did add her as a, as a project team member. So she got a notification that she was assigned as a, as a project team member uh, for this particular um, project. And then she can click on that link and she can come directly in here and she can start filling in fields or whatever she needs to do. But another way I can collaborate over here, there's this activity screen. And so I can just mention people. I can do an at and I can mention anyone in here and I can even, you know, do a search and find other people that are not in that immediate list. But so I can mention Tyra and say, you know, hey, what do you think? So this works just like Facebook and Twitter. But this is all internal, of course. So I'll say, Tyro, what do you think? And then she'll get a notification. So even if I had not added her in here as a team member, she would get a notification that um, I mentioned her. And then she can come in, back in here and make a comment back. And, um, you know, we would now be collaborating. And then from then on, if I add her in here as a collaborator this way, or I just mention her, Anytime a new comment is added on the project, she would get a notification, even if she wasn't mentioned specifically. Um, so this makes sure that everyone, anyone and everyone that, that wants or needs to be um, kept up to date with the status of this project would be kept up to date. You can also just come in here uh, and follow uh, this particular item. So now I'm uh, following, or actually I was already following and I unfollowed. Uh, that's why I went down. But um, so you can come in here and just follow it. Or if you like it, it will also um, uh, make it to where you're basically following the item and you'll get notified on anything that happens in it. So a lot of cool stuff in here um, from an app level. You can follow an app so that if anyone comes in and adds a brand new project into this app, then I would get a notification. I won't get any other notifications about those projects unless I go in and actually make a comment on it or like it or follow it uh, specifically. But so if you're a manager, you might want to follow, you know, the projects just so you can kind of see uh, the new project was created, you would get a notification that Project X was created without any other detail. But then if you wanted to go and see what Project X was all about, then you can go and see that, um, like it or share it or I mean, like it or follow it or comment on it. And then you would be involved with that project. But if you don't care about Project X, you don't ever have to do anything with it and you won't get any notifications. So um, those are just some of the really great features of Podio. I could literally record this. I could spend an hour on this video 
um, and show you lots of really cool things. But those are some of the, the highlights as to why I think this is such a powerful tool for any business. And you can just kind of imagine, you know, building out more workspaces with more apps. Um, Okay, I will mention one more thing. <laughs> you can come in here to add app and there's actually a whole app market or you can create an app uh, from scratch. You can just come in here and start defining your own fields. So you give it an app name and everything and then you can create your own fields. Um, or you can come into the app market and say, hey, you know what? I'm looking for uh, something to do with graphics. I don't know if there's an app for that. Let's see. There's a lot of apps in here. So design approvals and designs. Maybe I say, okay, I want to get that design app. Um, and it actually tells you, hey, this app was designed to work with other apps. Would you like to get them all? So it's basically part of a of an app pack. So procedures goes along with it as well. So I can say, yeah, get selected apps and I want to add it into this workspace and click on next. Here's a notification telling me I got a new lead for one of my businesses. And I'll say try apps now and it'll take me back to the workspace. And now I have a designs app and a procedures app. Again, I can go in here and I can start modifying and customizing this you know, to however I want. Um, so you can import, export data. There's just so many things you can do with Podio. I really encourage you to take a look at this. This will be a game changer for your business. All right. Thanks a lot. This is Patrick Style. Uh, also, you know, we do offer uh, consulting on Podio. So if you need help sort of designing out your apps and your workspaces and all that kind of stuff, we would love to help you. Podio also integrates with lots of other um, applications. So if you want to do things with email if you want to do, um, you know, any kind of automation and integration with other uh, systems, we can help with that. Uh, the workflow capabilities in Podio, there's a lot of stuff that's built in that's great. And then there's um, a product called Global Flow that is uh, an add on to Podio, which which really gives you some superpower, it lets you do things like, hey, when the status changes on one of these items and send so and so an email. Uh, or send me a report of all the overdue tasks and different things like that that you can do with Global Flow, and uh, we can help you figure all that out as well. So if you want some help with, on that, uh, let me know. Uh, Patrick Style, my email address is patrick at infranet.com. That's I-N-F is in Frank, R-A-N-E-T.com. I look forward to speaking to you about any of your podio needs. Thanks a lot.